And a new picture from outside Jackie Wolorski's office. You can see a black bow placed above a plaque. Someone also left flowers outside her door. Here in Indiana, sadness and love filled the State House this morning for Wolorski. News 8's Camilla Fernandez spoke, uh, shows us rather, how state leaders honored her service. Her legacy for service, which she did with enthusiasm and energy, will be long remembered. Heavenly Father, we come to you today with heavy hearts. You've called a former member of this body home to be with you. A wife, a friend, and a public servant, Jackie Walorski died in a crash Wednesday afternoon in northern Indiana. She was only 58 years old. It's, it's a horror and it's a tragedy and uh, it's going to be hard for the people in the State House and in Congress uh, to get used to her not being here. The next day, State Representative Timothy Wesco made a heartfelt tribute to his friend in the House chamber. My predecessor, my mentor, my constituent, and my friend, Jackie Walorski. She was a tremendous gift to our community, passionate in everything that she did. Walorski was a South Bend native who had served Indiana in Congress since 2013. She was passionate about agriculture and food policy in Congress and often worked across the aisle on those issues. As a member of the Indiana House, Walorski opposed gambling expansion proposals and pushed anti-abortion legislation. People like Jackie Walorski don't come along very often. And uh, I would hope that everybody in the State House uh, would, uh, were inspired by her uh, work. Friends say she loved giving back to her community. So if you text her, she'd text you right back and, and she'd call you. She was a very accessible member of, of Congress and as well as um, just a good friend. Her faith was central to her as a person. And her faith is what gives us hope today. Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.